Tony Gonzalez is considered one of the NFL's most outstanding tight ends for 17 seasons. He entertained Woo-hoo. fans playing for the Kansas City Chiefs and the Atlanta Falcons. A new documentary on Showtime, Play It Forward, follows the former pro bowler on and off the field. The candid story is told through Tony Gonzalez and his older brother by two years, Chris, who captured draft day 1997 before Tony joined the Kansas City Chiefs. Come on in. Come, come look over here. Check, check this out. Free yeah. booze. Free booze. Free booze. Between about six hours, we're going to know what team you're going to be playing for. So how's it feel that you're going to be a, a millionaire at the age of 21? Come on, come on, come on. Chris, follow me. Follow me. All right, all right. Follow you. you ready? Yeah. Check this out. Chris, we got bags. Who gave you? Who gave you that? Yeah. Who gave you that? They gave it to me. Who did? Check this out. Hey, you got a football. Give me that scissor right there. Anthony Gonzalez. Isn't that sweet? It was oh. very sweet. Tony Gonzalez is an analyst for the NFL today, right here on CBS This Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Listen, because football was really Chris's dream, not your dream. And mm-hmm. I'm wondering, as poignant as that documentary was, was it painful for the two of you also? By the time it was over. No, no. Uh, you, you mean going through the whole process or just the process of going to the NFL? No, when it ended, when the documentary ended for you and Chris. Um, it's our relationship after the documentary was shot, mm-hmm. you know, I was telling you mm-hmm. that we, we stopped talking uh-huh. for about a year and a half. Why? Uh, that surprised me. Yes. Yeah, and, and it surprised me too, you know, and some, some things. Maybe it was a result of us not having anything else in common. Maybe it was all those years of like, hey, football was kind of our bond, yeah. and that's all we ever talked about. So now what did we talk about? And I don't know if it's like going through a divorce or something or, or the empty nesters when the kids leave the house. But for whatever reason, we weren't getting along. And, and it's been a process, but also it's a journey back to who, what kind of relationship we want from each other because we've had to establish new New bounds with each other because we were extremely close. Cl- yeah. This was my yes. this was my road yes. dog. As yeah. he, What's he, so, lived he, with me. he taught it's, you to throw. Tony. He taught me everything. But it's yeah. so interesting because you say it right at the beginning of this film. You say you hated football. He yeah. loved it. Loved it. And he lived it through you. Mm-hmm. Yes, and he was my biggest confidant. He was my. My no guy. You know, people always talk about, yeah. people talk about, you yeah, know, uh, yes you have guy. all these yes guys oh, around oh, you. Oh, he oh, was okay. that guy. And I always tell young guys, surround yourself with somebody that, that you respect their opinion. When they tell you that you're not doing it the right way, yeah. that you'll listen to them. Mm-hmm. And Chris was that guy for me. Everywhere we rent, went around the, this nation, around the, the world, uh, he was always looking out for me. And he sacrificed his life. And I didn't always recognize that. And that's what I've gotten back to. Uh, and maybe he said that about, that's what he said. That was one of his complaints about, about me. It was like, hey, you've never really recognized what I've done. So uh, I guess on, on live television, I, I do recognize what he's done. And it's, maybe it's taken me uh, a long road to get to that point. But, but Tony, I love everything yeah. that he's ever done for me. You also say he was a good player. It's just that he had a car accident, which is why that he was unable to play. But he uh, was a good player, too. He was an outstanding football player. Had the car accident when I was five years old. He was seven years old. We were crossing the street. For whatever reason, uh, he goes, he grabs me by the hand and says, let's go across the street. And he takes off running. But for whatever reason, I'm only five years old. I don't care what's coming, but I just held back. And he went out there and got hit. And I don't know if that that kind of, you know, he broke his leg, hit his out, uh, flew 50 yards unconscious. And that kind of kind of set him back, obviously, at that young of an age. But he he turned out to be a very good football player. Went to a division. He got a division two scholarship. Uh, But he was always that coach for me and getting me on and off the field going in the right direction. Another person who was very influential, influential to you, and I found this really moving, was your stepfather. And, and when he was sick and in the hospital, you took a tape recorder to yeah. the hospital just about every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's because I knew that he was, he's, he, we didn't have too much more time with him. And uh, obviously it was a sad time, but at the same time I wanted to pick his brain mm-hmm. and ask him, uh, a, you know, give us advice. Because he's such a wise man. He came into my life when I was around 12, 13 years old. And for what the sacrifices that this man made yeah. are, are huge. And, yeah. and not just us, me and my brother. We also have some adopted brothers that came into our home. And he was a father to all of us. And, uh, you know, I miss him. 
I love that you had. I love that you thought of doing oh, yeah. that because I think we everybody has we've, regretted not doing something I, like oh, that. No, we've talked about that at this table before because NPR did a story about this, that, and Charlie has talked about it. The, you, you should go and interview your parents, parents and have yes. a tape yeah. recording of that because it's so moving yep. in this documentary. What about your family? Your family now? Tell uh, us about your kids. One of them uh, playing oh football. Goodness. Your gorgeous wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my wife Toby. October. Toby. Yeah, he's in there. She's there. Uh, your son's I got, playing I got football. The kids. My oldest boy. He's 14 now. We're, he's playing football. Pop Warner. Uh, we have the, the little girl. She's playing a lot of tennis. She broke her collarbone, oh but she's God. playing a lot. She plays tennis every day. She's the next Serena Williams. No pressure, though. No <laughs> yeah. pressure. And then my boy River. And then we just adopted uh, a, a little baby girl. Uh, wow. My, my wife's sister had some problems, uh -huh. and so we're gonna take. We took her her daughter in, Sophia, and she's been with us for five months. She's nine months old now. So. Wow. Do you think Nico Gonzalez, your oldest boy, really wants to play football? <laughs> because I'm thinking about you, who really didn't care about the game. Because yes. like, but do you think Nico? Really really wants to play or does he think I'm Tony Gonzalez's son? Uh, no, I, I think I, I, at this point he better want to play because I've given him enough out. <laughs> I have told him, I have sat down and I've told this kid, look, you don't, don't ever do this because it's something that I've done and don't feel any pressure. You go out there and have fun with this game. And we were talking about this. I, I stopped coaching him yeah. uh, because we were like this button, button yeah. heads mm -hmm. trying to coach your, your kids. Uh, I don't recommend that. Yeah. And how are you and Chris today? How we're good now. We're on to? the road to recovery. Uh, it, it took a lot of yelling and screaming and then some, some therapy. Some therapy. Okay. Uh, and the re I'm very open about that because it's just like in the film, it's very candid. There's, there's nothing pulled out of there. Mm -hmm. It's exactly how it happened. And right now with my brother, I think it's a good example of sibling for siblings out there that don't yeah, talk sure, to each yeah. other. Yeah. In, in the uh, film, my stepdad, he talks about families, everything. You do whatever you can, can for it. Yeah. And that's what we had to do. We had to put our money where our mouth is yep. and let's work this thing out for our family's sake and for our sake uh, you, you, because we had such a beautiful relationship. Pop said, when you love your family, you don't allow for failure to take care of them. I really liked him, Tony Gonzalez. Good yeah. luck. Good thank luck. You. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Really interesting to watch what goes on behind the scenes in families. You never know. And Play It Forward is the name of it. It premieres Friday on Showtime, which is a division of CBS. You are watching CBS This Morning.